Hello Pisces and welcome to your reading by the Blessings Foundry. Today's reading is a general reading to see what messages and guidance Spirit has for you at the time you view this video. Spirit, please connect to the Pisces subscribers of this channel and their guides, guardians, angels, ancestors, and higher self and ascended masters in high vibrational energy to get the messages and guidance that Pisces needs for their soul's journey at the time they view this video. A couple more shuffles, we'll get the energy right in the cards and then we will go on. Here we go. All right, let's see what messages we get for you today, Pisces. Spirit, what messages and guidance do you have for Pisces at the time they view this video? What messages and guidance do you have for Pisces at the time they view this video, please? Okay, that's too many. Okay, Spirit's saying take them though. So I'm going to take them, which that's a little unique. So we'll see what's going on. The first one we have here is the Seven of Swords. This is either, we don't have any aspecting around this yet. So this is this can be a plan, an exit strategy, or somebody with negative um, underhanded behaviors. The next card we have here, Pisces, is the Nine of Wands. Okay, so now we have an aspect to base the Seven of Swords off of. It seems as though you may have kept trying and you kept encountering some deceitful lies um, or underhanded behavior here. Um, the Nine of Wands is getting to the end of this situation, feeling like, look, I'm doing all I can. I'm standing strong, but I'm getting really, I'm getting really freaking sick of this. It's the same thing over and over. Then the next card we have here, Pisces, is the Three of Wands. You're looking towards a new shore. You're, you're turning your back to the situation and looking out at what can come next. What can you focus on other than this situation that is doing nothing but feeding you BS, lies, deception, trickery, deceit, and tiring you out. You're, you're really, as we were saying, getting to the end of it. Like, I'm fed up. I'm at the end of it. I'm tired. I'm not dealing with the the effery, the trickery anymore. This is a trickster here that you've been dealing with and now you're starting to turn your back to this type of behavior. You have been turning your back, but this is more emphatic of a turn. This is more of a deciding turn towards something new in your life, inviting something new into your life. Three of Wands is waiting for something better here looking for something better not just waiting but looking for something better seeking out something better the next card we have here pisces is the six of wands you are wanting to have victory over this situation and it's interesting here that you're really transmuting this energy you're making a pivotal change in the energy in the situation here that you've had with the seven of swords and you're breaking up this energy nine of wands you are breaking this up into by the choices you're making to turn your back to this energy and cycle. You're breaking it up into a three of wands and a six of wands because you're turning your back, looking forward to what victory and good things you can have in your life. That is your choice to break up into a three and then and not physically break up, but to make the choice to have something better in your life and move into having success and victory and recognition and have somebody who truly appreciates you on a personal, intimate, physical, emotional, and intellectual level. This is being recognized for your true value. This is where you're headed. Um, and again, three of wands plus six of wands is the nine of wands. This victory is going to be born out of the fact that you're tired that you have really just gotten to the point where you've had enough. Let me bring a little more light maybe, okay? Then we have the Four of Pentacles. I feel as though you're going to be moving forward, but somebody won't want to let go of you. You're also moving forward to a very stable time, a very prosperous time, a very grounded, financially beneficial time as well. For some of you, you may have some type of positive financial situation turn about. And the next card we see, in fact, is a offer, proposal, and emotional change that is on the horizon for you. And then the last card, absolutely. You have a new beginning with the rays of sun, giving birth to something new, something creative, something is growing in your life. And it's all as a result of you looking at the situation and saying, no more shall I endure the trickery. 
and going and breaking up that nine of wands energy, transmuting it into the choice to move forward onto something much better. So let's clarify this message, Spirit. Let me get a drink of coffee real quick. My voice is a little weird. <clears throat> All right, guys, let's go. What is the seven of swords for Pisces? Please, thank you. We have, wow, this is a lot going on here, Pisces. So whoever you're dealing with, whatever energy you are dealing with, there are things you're not seeing and that are not being spoken because there's so much in the undercurrents. We have all these cards for the seven of swords. This one is separate. So let's dive into this first. Let me make some room. For the seven of swords, the first one we have is the two of pentacles. This seems to be... A very unstable situation somebody might be back and forth maybe back and forth into your life or just back and forth in their own mind about what they're doing just having a lot of instability or indecision in this situation then we have the king of pentacles you could be dealing with a, a masculine earth energy virgo taurus capricorn but this could also be re referencing that there are hidden things due to unstable financial situations and then, you know, we're seeing the strength card come out, Leo energy, but I feel as though somebody, the, the reason behind this deception, why things are remaining hidden here is because somebody's trying to power through. They're trying to have the courage and strength to get through this extremely trying time for them. Um, but the truth is always going to come out. The sun, the moon, and the truth never remain hidden very long. So there's going to be a truth that comes out of this. And it seems as though communication is coming very soon. Eight of Wands is this is fast-paced energy that things are going to come out into the light of day. And it might cause some conflict or chaos. There might be a little bit of drama in the communication or in the connections Um this could also be Pisces that you have had enough in this situation and might be speaking your truth as well. We do see an energetic shift here that is being caused by an underlying energy of deception, hidden energies, secret agendas as well. And this, this energy is external to you, but you're about to handle this ish. And then we have the Ace of Pentacles. You're going to handle this stuff because either you're going to speak your truth and say, look, I'm having my own new beginning or somebody's going to come forward finally with the truth. What is this Nine of Wands for Pisces? I feel as though you're going to definitely have some clarity. Either the clarity will come from the situation or the person in the situation or you're going to get your own clarity on this. Either way, things are about to break down and change. And when I say break down, I mean you're coming out of this Nine of Wands energy into something much better. You're going to have victory over this. What is this Nine of Wands? Thank you. And we're getting the Seven of Swords again. What else do we need to know about this Nine of Wands, please? You've, you've just really had enough Pisces. Anything else for this Nine of Wands? Thank you. Yeah, you... Either the truth is going to come out or you're like deuces be Pisces out. Mic drop ain't sitting here hearing no more ruckus, no more BS. But we do see here, I feel even though it may not have been spoken or you may not have been treated as a high value person person by this energy or person they do value you for some some personal reason that they have not spoken but here the deceptions whatever this behavior is is going to be cleansed out and revealed and this may very well be what helps you either turn your back to the situation or in this situation move forward to something better let's see what this three of wands is what is this three of wands for pisces what is this three of wands for pisces please what does Pisces need to know about this Three of Wands, please? Okay, lots of energy coming out today in these cards. So for the Three of Wands, where you're headed, turning your back, we have the Six of Cups, turning your back to the past. This could be a very, um, a very deep connection. And then we have the Ten of Pentacles, the Knight of Swords, and the Empress. Remember, Pisces, how we were saying that this person has not treated you on par with your value. They may have known your value internally, but they have not been treating you. They have not been showing up 
as your equal or even anyone that can can properly contend with your energy of the empress and this is why you're turning your back to the situation we see here this could be a lot of elements from the past within this connection wanting stability wanting to have something very stable but there's a harsh truth here about you're looking over the situation and saying not today punk i i'm i'm i've had enough I'm stepping into my power, into my authority, into the truth of who I am. And you might not like it, but I'm moving on to have my own victory over the situation. What is this six of wands, please? Sometimes moving on and not looking back is the victory. What is the six of wands, please? What is the six of wands, please, spirit? S yeah. Sometimes moving on and focusing on you, choosing you, is the victory. Literally what we just said. So this is about you choosing you, moving forward, focusing on you. If anybody is worth it, they will catch up. If anybody values you in a proper way, they will do the work to balance themselves out so they can come to you correctly this is you also pisces moving to an extreme out of this nine of wands out of a period of tiredness and being drained into a period you're moving towards a much much brighter much more prosperous much better future where you're going to be much 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 right a lot of muches um really self-reliant independent feeling yourself right because you're going to be having victory over your own life and over the circumstances that have really perhaps caused you reason to struggle for a while and we see the four of pentacles next what is this four of pentacles for pisces please what does pisces need to know about this thank you for this four of pentacles pisces we are getting the ten of wands it is time the Four of Pentacles is directly beneath the Nine of Wands. And the Four of Pentacles is clarified by the Ten of Wands. So what we're seeing here, Pisces, with this Queen of Wands, the Queen of Wands has one mighty powerful wand and is bringing, reclaiming your power with the Queen of Wands wand and adding that to the Nine of Wands and saying, look, I've had enough. I'm stepping back into my power. I'm, I'm remembering the truth of who I am, that I am very charismatic, I am very powerful, I am very courageous, and adding that to the Nine of Wands to transmute that into 10 to really totally close out this cycle because the cycle has been going on for far too long. Let's get one more card for this Four of Pentacles. You are going to have beauty in your life instead of burdens. Yes, absolutely. Look at this. You are going to have beauty in your life instead of burdens. You are letting go of one thing in order to hold on to something new. You're letting go of the burden and creating beauty in your life that you're going to be able to hold on to. Spirit, what is this Knight of Cups for Pisces, please? What is this Knight of Cups? There's spirit is doing a new thing, a new work in your life. There's beauty coming in. What is this Knight of Cups? What is Pike? Thank you. And we have you returning to your, your energy of peace, of kindness, of intuition, of caring, of, um, of love. This is you returning to your seat of love in pure, genuine peace. The Page of Cups is a romantic vesture messenger <laughs> a romantic message or an apology something is coming in for you pisces you you may not be wanting to hear at first because you may be reluctant of the intentions here but we have cups 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 this is emotions this is intuition this is something coming in to cleanse <clears throat> pardon me so much to cleanse out this old energy but the the key here is that you have truly gotten to the point where you said i've had enough this entire situation should not be existing as it is it's beneath me beneath my energetic vibration and it's time for me to move on to something new and as you have done that there's new opportunities new messages new things coming into your life that are going to be on match with your 
energetic vibration. What is this Ace of Wands for Pisces? What is this Ace of Wands for Pisces, please? And for this Ace of Wands, Pisces, we are getting the Page of Swords. There's going to be a communication or a fast change um, around this new beginning. We're also seeing that as you have this new beginning, you're going to have other people's eyes on you, watching you transition into a place of beauty, a place of success. Look at, as you transition into this new place, you're taking a bold leap of faith into your wish fulfillment. And this is exactly what we just said. People are going to be watching you having this new beginning and having your the desires of your heart come to pass. You have new things growing in your life that are going to take you to this place of, of beauty, of prosperity, of fortuitous happenings and miracles in answered prayers. Let's get one card for the overall message of this reading for Pisces. Or one angel answers, sorry. One angel answers for Pisces, thank you. So take action, Pisces. And this is the pivotal key we see here is not necessarily waiting, but making that choice. Making that choice to change and transmute that Nine of Wands into victory over your own life. To really get on the horse and ride out of the situation that's bogging you down. One more angel answers for Pisces, please. Get more information. So the thing is, information is going to come through, whether through your intuition or through the realization of the circumstances. I feel as though some, there is going to be communication coming towards you um, and understand that the communication is going to be telling you something. Even if it's not telling you what's going on, it's going to tell you and reveal to you the energy that would continue to persist in this situation. For example, if a person is very hedging with you and or very sure or is still hiding, you understand that is the energy you will continue to get. However, if by some stroke of fortune, the person comes through and says, Pisces, just let's sit down, talk to this, uh, talk through this adult to doll. You know, you matter to me. I want you in my life. So let's, let's deal with this. Then you know that is the energy that's going to carry you forward to victory. So either way, listen to what is, listen not only with your ears, but with your intuition and your um, sense of energetic vibration. Spirit, one Psalms for Pisces for this reading. One Psalm. Thank you. It is God who arms you with strength and makes your way perfect. So understand divine is working in your life and guiding you as you sit here on the precipice of this decision, on the precipice of transmuting this worn out, tired energy, divine is helping to guide you towards this victory, helping to guide you towards a brighter, better future and to have victory over your trials and tribulations. I love you, O Lord, my strength. So when you're in the times of trials and tribulations, feeling tired, call upon the Lord to give you strength and guidance and direction. Spirit, one lucky oracle for Pisces and we'll close it out. One lucky oracle for Pisces and we'll close it out, please. One lucky oracle for Pisces, please, Spirit. Make it good. Make it resonate, please, Spirit. What do you want Pisces to know? Thank you. And here we have a family grief. So this could be problems within the family dynamic or family unions. Um, you have long been loved by one whom you least suspect. This is very interesting, Pisces. There seems to be, remember Pisces, how we were saying, this person has not told you how much they actually value you. And it seems as though it's, it's somebody, there's going to be a communication come that you do not expect. It might be from the same person who's being deceptive, or it might be from somebody altogether, but you're definitely moving towards something better. So it may be that communication coming in from someone you least expect. And we do see a short sorrow here. So this is going to be the transmutation time where you're, you're breaking up that nine of wands into the three of wands and the six of wands in order to have victory over the situation to bring victory in your life and to enable the transition from being bogged down to being um, built up a marriage will take place soon so this could be somebody around you 
If you have a yes or no question, the answer is yes. We have the number 17, which reduces to an eight. And we also have the lucky number 732, which reduces to 12, which reduces five and seven, 12, which reduces to a three. So this is what I have for you today, Pisces. I hope it helps. God bless.